Hi, this is James Garden, the Senior Tech Geek, and I'm at Blackmagic again, talking to some colorists about HDR and Resolve. Resolve 16 is coming out soon, it was announced at the show, and I went to a deep dive with one of their main colorists to talk about HDR and where it is for everyone else. I can very much see, because of HDR's traction in the last couple of years, that um, wedding producers or wedding video producers or just corporate video people will start being asked, can they make HDR deliverables? And you know, the new version of DaVinci Resolve really tries to help with that. There, there are workflows for easy making of turning your system into HDR. It's all built in, built in. Even the free version has a lot of the features if you wanted to just go try it out. But being able to send HDR with metadata to your, to your Samsung monitor or going to some more complex um, systems where you're actually generating the HDR10 and 10 plus metadata and doing some distribution that way, it's all very possible with that solution. The bigger thing I liked about the demonstration of using HDR in Resolve today was that you can actually export directly to a HDR friendly uh, MP4 file that can directly upload into, into YouTube and use, utilize the HDR capabilities of the YouTube HDR um, that's available today. So really, you know, there's no reason that if you are a corporate or, you know, wedding sort of producer, that if people are asking you to go into HDR, time, now is the time to um, get your feet wet because the tools are actually available now and you can start practicing and understanding how you will move into that new era of HDR as a standard for video production. Anyway, that's James Gardner, the Student Geek at the Black Magic booth at NAB 2019. Bye for now.